What is Tom Orr doing now after leaving Mountain Men? Hey guys, welcome to our channel. For more updates on the celebrities, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. The news of Tom Orr leaving History Channel's reality show Mountain Men aired when the show announced his new season a couple of months ago. Tom had been a fan favorite on the show and after years of battling the element in Montana's remote York River Valley, the 70-plus year old reality show star decided to hang up his hinting traps and take a break. It was reported that Tom is in retirement with his wife Nancy in Florida. Or an American native born in Illinois was a big part of the show. He left all forms of civilization and settled in Montana with his family back in the 1970s. He was a trapper and even taught himself tanning to support himself. His wife Nancy was really worried about him since back in the day she said, they have a big problem of wolves and we all know he's not a young man. As for the occupation, the husband and wife made various kinds of shoes and clothing such as Mukashin's jacket, trousers, tea suits from their skins. Why did Tom leave? The season finale of season 7 ended with Tom and his wife deciding to move to Florida. Well, like pointed before by his wife, how Tom was not getting any younger, the older he got, the more challenges he had to face in the secluded region. Even in the recent interview, Tom complained about the lack of privacy due to the show and its popularity. As he told Alengi Mountain Radio, we live out here in the woods. We live 4 miles from the British Columbia border and about 15 miles east of the Idaho Panhandle. We live in the middle of the Kontanai National Forest. We have over 300 people that came to our house last summer to take out the picture and shake our hand. We had honeymooners here two years ago from Switzerland. It looks like Tom was not very fond of the enthusiastic trans passes on his private property. However, he did appear at the meet and greet in the February at the Western Virginia Sports Show in Fisherville. As he said, fans are really important to me and that really need to meet all the different people and talk to them. There's always something of interest and there's always interesting people to meet.